All right, welcome to part two of lesson 21, our three column notes. Let's put our heading on, name, number, date, first and last in cursive. Okay, our date, you write what date you're working on this, not necessarily the date I'm writing. My number is pi, our subject is math. All right, so when we estimate, first thing we want to do is look for our compatible number. So we want to see, is either one of these close to 25? No. Since they're not close to 25, we're going to round each of the factors to their largest place. Their largest place is a tens place, so between 70 and 80, between 60 and 70, halfway, we have 75, we have 65, 72 is pretty close to 70. 64, though it's really close to the middle, is still closer to 60. Since both of these went down, I actually know this is going to be a low estimate, but it still should give us a good idea of if our answer is reasonable or not. Okay, I have one, two placeholders. We'll move it over one, two places. Seven times six is 42. Starting from the ones, one, two, three, comma. Our periods are always in groups of three. You will not put a comma in a group of four. It will always be a group of three. Our separations go in groups of three. All right, the estimate. is 4,200. All right, now we're going to use our area model. So we're going to draw our four squares, but the size doesn't really matter as much because we're not drawing base 10 blocks this time, like for our rectangular array. We're using the area of this rectangle to help us out. But we do need to break both apart. 70 plus 2 is that expanded form. 60 plus 4 is that expanded form. So I am doing 70 plus 2, 60 plus 4. Now I'm going to do my distributive property. I'm going to do 70 groups of 60 then 70 groups of 4. So first, outside, then 2 groups of 60, inside, 2 groups of 4, last. So we're doing that foil, first, outside, inside, last. It's just to make sure we distribute to everything. 70 groups of 60, I have 2 placeholders, moves it over 2 places. 7 times 6 is 42. 1, 2, 3, comma. 70 times 4, placeholder moves it over a place, 7 times 4 is 28. Here, 2 groups of 60, placeholder moves it over a place, 2 times 6 is 12, and then 2 groups of 4 is 8. Okay, now that I've done the more challenging part, I need to add up these partial products, and this is where it's very important to line up from the ones every single time. So I'm going to use this one next. So 200 is in the hundreds, 80 is in the tens, and zero. Line up from the ones. 100 is in the hundreds, 20 is in the tens, and then eight. Add up those partial products. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8. I have a 10 here. I'm going to regroup above. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, comma. Comma on the paper, not on the computer. 4,608. That is close to my estimate. 
I knew this would be a low estimate, so it is reasonable. It is within reason. The product is 4,608. And it is reasonable because it is close to my estimate of 4,200. All right, one more. So we're going to look at compatible numbers here for our estimate. Is either one of these close to 25? Yes, this one's close to 25. So I'm going to use that compatible number for 27, and then I'm going to round the other one. So it's between 60 and 70. Halfway is 65. 68's right around here, so 70. I'm going to do 70 times 25, because 27 is close to that compatible number. Placeholder moves it over one place, and then I think of 7 quarters. 4 quarters makes a dollar, so 4 times 25 is 100, makes one dollar, and that would leave to make seven, three. Three quarters is 75 cents. So seven quarters would be a dollar 75, or 175. Eight quarters makes two dollars. So if you're just thinking, counting up by quarters, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175. 1, 2, 3, comma. The estimate is 1,750. All right, now let's get our area model down. going to break these apart into their expanded forms. 60 plus 8, 20 plus 7, 60, 8, 20 plus 7. So I'm going to do 60 groups of 20 first. Two placeholders moves it over two places. 6 times 2 is 12. 1, 2, 3, comma. Then 60 times 7. Let's move it over a place. Those are your outside ones. So first, outside. 6 times 7 is 42. Then our inside, 8 groups of 20. Placeholder moves it over a place. 8 times 2 is 16. And the last, 8 times 7 is 56. Now we got to get those partial products written down. We need to line up from the ones each time. So we make sure our hundreds are all together, our tens are all together, and our ones. We line up from the ones. Hundreds are all together, tens, ones line it from the ones. Tens are together, ones are together. Zero plus zero plus zero plus six. Zero plus two plus six, that's eight, plus five is thirteen. I'm going to regroup above. One plus two is three, plus four is seven, plus one is eight, and then one. 
So I get 1,836. Is that close to our estimate of 1,750? Yes, it is. So it, it is reasonable. It's only 86 away. The product is 1,836 and it is reasonable because it is close to the estimate of 1,750. All right, now that we're done with our three column notes, it's time for you to do some practice. Thank you for joining me.